The increased demand for pilots worldwide brought many possible solutions along with it. At Griffiths, we believe that the optimal solution lies in better education and more cost-effective uh, training of pilots. After many years of experience in the field, we realized that there is a large gap between theory and practice. We are very aware of the enormous cost of flight training. It can easily cost a new pilot up to 130,000 Australian dollars. During 2017, we introduced a state-of-the-art new aviation lab at uh, Nathan campus. This lab has 24 workstations and can seat around 48 students. And it was introduced especially uh, to provide a facility where courses with a practical impact can be taught. We introduced a new course series, which we call the Flight Procedures Series. It covers all the many um, procedures that pilots must master to fly airplanes. And uh, it's presented over three trimesters, trimester one, three, and five of a Bachelor of Aviation students' uh, six trimester stay with us. Also, it covers the entire range from the very basic to very advanced. A uh, student would typically fly uh, from a Cessna 172 right through to a Boeing 737 in the score series. The series is primarily designed towards aspiring pilots, but also those who do not want to become pilots can gain greatly from this course, as um, it teaches um, them a lot about what goes on in the flight deck, which can be certainly very useful. In terms of the result of this development, uh, both staff and our students were very, very um, joyful about the development. Also, some industry players complimented uh, Griffith a lot with the development, amongst others, Qantas and Qantas Link. And uh, currently, we are busy with a research pr project that is fi funded by Learning Futures and is headed by Dr. Chris Campbell um, around the success of this new development and the initial results um, are extremely stimulating. Our student numbers increased with uh, about 20% from uh, 2017 and we ascribe that largely to this development. If you ask me what advice I have if you wanted to re revamp your own degrees, um, my advice would be to carefully listen to the industry and give them what they want uh, while you are busy changing things. In the second instance, do involve the Learning Futures team. They do know what they talk about and can make life much easier for you. And lastly, do appreciate the role that your administrative staff can play in supporting you in the restructuring of your degree. Thank you for listening.